I'm often asked about recipes for pets with allergies and today I'm making a crock pot duck chuck I call it uh, for pets with allergies a lot of times there are protein allergies and usually those are the more common protein sources like beef and chicken uh, duck is a really great high quality lean protein that is usually uh, available in most areas if it's not available in your area there are other less common proteins that uh, aren't such strong allergens. Uh, there might be bison, goose, ostrich, depending on the region that you live in, um, you can find protein sources that aren't quite as common and uh, hopefully won't trigger those allergies in your pet. But for today, I'm using duck in this crock pot recipe. Now, as I mentioned, this is a dog food recipe for dogs with allergies. Uh, getting a limited ingredient recipe can often help dogs with allergies because it helps you easily determine what the allergen could be. So I have one pound of duck meat here that's going into my crock pot. I love crock pot recipes. They are super simple uh, to make. So I'm just gonna kind of spread that duck around so it's all over the bottom. And then I have one cup of dry brown rice. One cup of, pot uh, not potatoes, peas. Uh, mine are frozen peas. You can use fresh if you have them. Uh, I, I just have been to have some frozen on hand, so I'm using those. And then one cup of carrots. Now I have baby carrots here. Feel free to use large carrots. Just cut them into uh, pieces that will be appropriate for your dog's size. And then finally I have two cups of water. And that's it. I'm going to cover this set it on low for eight hours. Uh, the duck will tenderize as you're cooking, so you'll be able to break it into small pieces very easily, um, and your recipe will be complete. This is our crock pot duck chuck for dogs with allergies. As you can tell, our beagle Molly loves this. The serving size recommendation is about a half a cup for every 20 pounds of body weight. Uh, be sure to check with your veterinarian or a canine nutritionist for the best serving size for your dog. Of course, more active dogs need more calories while lazier dogs need less calories. Your veterinarian or nutritionist may also recommend adding a supplement or a multivitamin to this recipe. For any questions, you can send me an email, samantha at topdogtips.com. Thanks for watching this recipe video.